Yo, what's up y'all? Welcome back to another Roblox Studio video where today I'll be showing you how to make a tagging system for games such as hide and seek. So what this is going to do is going to make a circle around our player who's chosen to be it. And if this player is touched, it's going to clone this part and it's going to put it on the other player as well as add them to a folder or a table or a team. And then we can use this to make it where if every player's tagged, your round will end or your game will be over. So anyways, y'all, let's just get right into this. Since this script is going to be primarily based on a module script, what we can do is go to replicated storage, press the plus sign, and we can add in a new module script. And I'm going to be calling this module script, I'm going to rename it the tag module. And in this script, we're going to need a new script, so we can go to the plus sign on this, and insert a new script, a normal script, and we can call this script tag handler. And we can disable this script by going down here to enabled and pressing this so now it's disabled and lastly what we're going to need to do we're going to go to replicated storage we can press the plus sign and insert two new folders we can press this one and press Control d that will duplicate the folder and these folders are going to act as our teams so for this one i'll just call this one chasers which will be whoever's tagging and this one will be our runners so now we can go to our module script so in our module script the first thing we're going to need to do is locate our tagging script right here. So we can do local tag script or tag handler is script.taghandler. And down here, we also need to get our team folders. So what we can do is local replicated storage is game get service, replicated storage. And we can drop a line, local chasers is replicated storage, find first child chasers. We can drop another line, local runners is replicated storage, find first child runners. So the first thing we're going to need to do in this script is actually go ahead and set our players to a team. So the default way to make a function on module is just to type function module colon and then we can just put anything so I'll put add team and then get our variable which will be player. We also need to get our team so player and then team. So what we're going to do in this function is really simple we're just going to make a new string value with the player's name and we're just going to parent it to one of these two teams so all we need to do local string value is a new string value and we're just going to parent it to our team and then string value dot name is just our player dot name and so our next function all we're going to be doing is tagging the player so what we can do function module tag and our variable will just be player so what we're going to do in this function the first thing we need to do is get the character of the player so local character is either our player dot character or our player dot character added wait so what this is going to do either they have a character or if they don't it's going to wait until they do and that will define that character as our character now what we need to do is get our root part so local humanoid root part is our character find first child humanoid root part now the first thing we need to do is check if the player is not already tagged what we can do is if not character find first child tag circle then we start tagging the player so the first thing we need to do is add our value or add our team so what we're going to do we're going to add our player our tagged player to the chasers team and so now that we have our players on the chasers team we can go ahead and create our tag circle so the first thing we need to do is define our circle so local circle is the instance that new part we can parent this to the character and the circle dot name is going to be tag circle and so to position the circle we we'll put circle dot c frame is our human or group part dot c frame and we can either put this or we can put minus vector three dot new zero one zero or zero two zero this will just make it a little bit lower to make sure we can tag our players just right. We also need to make this actually a circle. So what we can do circle.shape is enum.part type. Then we can get ball. Then we need to set our size. So circle.size is vector3.new. 777. Seven, seven. You can put 6, you can put 5, you can put 4. And then we need to make our circle transparent. So circle.transparency is 1. We can just set this to zero for now for testing. And then lastly, circle.canCollide is false. So this will make it where the player can actually move. They won't be stuck in the ground. And so our next step is to connect the tag circle. 
So what we can do local weld is a new weld constraint, which will go into our humanoid root part. And then our weld.part0 is gonna be the humanoid root part. And our weld.part1 is gonna be the circle. And now to actually enable the tagging system. So what we need to do is get a cloned version of our tag handler. So we can do local tab script is tag handler clone. And then we go ahead and parent this tag script to our circle. And then lastly, we're gonna enable the tagging script. So we're gonna do ts.disabled is false. So just for an overview, we're gonna start by getting our tag handler script, which is right here. We're gonna get all our teams and we can have this here to add our players to teams whenever we want. And then when we tag a player, we're gonna start by getting their character and their humanoid group part. And we're gonna see if they don't already have a tag circle or if they're not already tagged, we're gonna add them to the tag team. We're gonna create the tag circle, weld it to the player, and we're gonna enable the tag circle and let them tag whoever they want. So now that we're done with our module script, we can go over to our tag handler. We need to start by getting our players. So our local players is gonna be game get service players. So we also need to get our team folders. So what we can do, we can go back to our module script and we can just copy these three links right here and just paste this into our new script. And next we gotta get our module script. So what we're gonna do, local tag module is require replicated storage dot tag module. So we gotta require, we gotta load in the new tag module. And now we need to get the info of our player, of our tagging player. So we get our chaser info. And what we need to do, local circle, is our script parent because this will be parented to the tag circle. And we get our character, local character, the circle dot parent. And then we need to get our player who is gonna tag. So local tag player is players. Get player from character, character. So we're gonna plug in our character into the get player from character function. So we're gonna get the player. And so now for our function, we're gonna go ahead and tag the player. So what we can do, circle dot touch, connect function. So we connect a function to our circle and we can go ahead and put hit is our variable for this function. So first we need to get the character that we just tagged. So local tag character is hit.parent. We also need to get their humanoid. So local humanoid is tag character, find first child, humanoid. So this is gonna check if they have a humanoid or if they are a character. And then we need to check if they do have it. So if humanoid, then we need to get our tag player. So to get our tag player, we can just get local tagged or tagged player. We'll just be players, get player from character, tag character. The same way we did it for the player who tags, we're gonna get the player who got tagged. Then we're gonna get the value of the player that was assigned to the runners team. So we can get our tagged value is runners find first child, tag.name. And then to actually tag the player, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our tag module and we're gonna call the function tag and we're gonna send in our tagged player. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete the tagged value we're gonna destroy it out of this folder. Since our module script, once you tagged, it makes a new value and places it into the chasers folder automatically. So we can just go ahead and destroy our tagged value. And just to recap, we're gonna get our player service. We're gonna get our replicated storage, get our two team folders, get our module script, get all of our chaser info of our tag player info. So the circle that they're tagging with, we're gonna tag the player. So we get their character and their humanoid and then we tag them. And now your script is complete. You can call upon this in any script you want, any external script and server script service. You can put this in a round system. You can put this in anything, but I'm gonna show you a basic example of how to call on this. So we can go to server script service, press the plus sign, add in a new script. And I'm just gonna name this call script. So what we need to do in this script, we need to get our teams. So what we can do, we can go ahead and paste back in these three variables from our other two scripts which will get our replicated storage, our chaser folder, and our runner folder. And we also need to get our module. So local module is gonna make us require replicated storage dot tag module. And we also need to get our player service. So local players is game get service players. So now we need to get two players in the game so we can do repeat wait until number of players get children is greater than one. So this is gonna make two or more players have to join before this runs. 
So now all we need to do is set our module to tag the first player. So players get children, number one. So the first player that joins is gonna be tagged. And then what we can also do is make our module, add the team, players get children too. So the second player that joins the game, we're gonna assign them to the runners team. So when you add this team, you need to make sure that you already define the folder in another variable, and then you send this variable in, or you can just put replicated storage.runners, but it has to be the folder. It can't just be like a string saying runners. You have to make sure it's actually the folder itself. So now what we can do is go ahead and test this out. So now in our game, we see that player one here has been chosen as the player that's gonna tag. We see that the ball is a little low, so we can remove the minus two, or we can change it to minus one. But what we can see here, he's already assigned the tag circle. This player is not. So we run up to him and we tag him. We see that he gets the tag circle as well and we don't lose ours. And we go to this folder. We see that we're both assigned to the chaser folder. So that means our team system works, our tagging system works, and the tag circle works itself. So the last thing we need to add into our tag handler script, the one that's disabled, we need to see if humanoid then. We also need to check and not tag character find first child tag circle so what we need to do we need to make sure that once we go to remove their value from the runner folder we need to make sure that's not already happened they're not already tagged and we also need to make sure that we don't send in a thousand tag circles to lag the game out and also to make sure that our ball isn't so low we can set this to minus 0.5 or minus one instead of two so the ball won't be so low if you don't mind that it's fine but we also need to set this zero right here back to one to make sure our ball is invisible and we don't see it. So anyways, now that we're done with our script, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. But anyways, I'll see you all in the next one.